Hey again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Addicted to Growth. This is episode eight. If you don't know what's going on, go catch up on the last seven episodes and you'll get a recap. Now, I left David for a couple of months. We split up and I ended up leaving to Tennessee from North Carolina. And I'm here to explain that story. So last episode, we left off with the kids going for a day at the park with my dog, Rosie, and I explained where I got her and my childhood memories. Now, I was staying in the Airbnb for a while, for about a week, and I knew I had to get an apartment ASAP because I was going to get kicked out of the Airbnb eventually, and I didn't want to pay a lot of freaking money like I have been to stay at a hotel, an Airbnb. It's really expensive. So I ended up looking up tons of different apartments and went to all of them in one day. I had Nathan help me babysit the kids one day, Ensley and Kaiser, when he came to visit Kaiser. And then another time I had Nathan's mom watch the kids at her house while I went. And then I finally came up with a decision and I chose a home that was outside of Tennessee, about 15 to 20 minutes outside Tennessee, but was really close to the airport. It's that one. Get the stairs. Oh, they have bikes. You go up the stairs. Go up the stairs. Are those ours? No. <laughs> one, two, three, four, Hurry. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got a cute little front porch. Front porch is <laughs> separate there. Oh, uh oh, hold on. Shut that behind you. What? Look how nice it is. You like it? Bathroom check. You like it? That's where the washer and dryer are. What's here? This cool. This is a closet. Bathroom. So, this is mommy's room, I think. No, it's yeah. my room. No, this is mommy's room. Yeah, this is mommy's room in here. Okay. And then you can pick one of the other rooms. This is my room. You want that one to be yours? Yeah. Okay. Because it has this. Mirrors where you could do this. Hey, 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 okay, okay. Be my careful. Room. That's cool. Yeah. It's a big room, right? You get two doors. And then yeah. there's another room. This could be Ensley's right here. Yeah. Right? Yep. Really big. Oh, and that. She has shelves everywhere. Wow, that's a big closet for Ensley. You like it? Oh, we're going to put a picture there. <laughs> This is my water heater and stuff. Guys, come here, look. Washer and dryer, so I don't need to buy another one. Oh, well, got a fire pit. Fire pit. Isn't that cool? Don't touch it. Oh, Whoa, we got a mommy, look, look. Area. I know, we got a porch. Yeah. You like it? More like you could cigarette out there. Cigarette, you're funny. <laughs> oh, we got a kitchen. Yeah, we Check. got a kitchen. Is there any food? No, we gotta put up, we gotta bring all, mommy has to get all of the food later and you're gonna go to Nana's later. Okay. Okay. Look, this is our trash can. So you know what we do with this? Throw our trash away. You know how we used to have a big trash can outside that we used to put our trash in? We just have a little one now. Yeah, they come from Sunday through <coughs> Thursday to pick up your trash at your door with this Amazing. from 6 to 8 p.m. So great. Isn't that crazy? So great. And they told me today, they said, oh, by the way, we have a guest room. I said, guest room? She goes, yeah, it's $99 a night. If you're having visitors come, they can stay in the guest room. And it's like a little studio apartment. That's nice. Isn't That's that crazy? Perfect. Yeah. I was they like, I got to tell out. my mom that. They have it figured out. Yeah. They said, yeah. Turn dry, a little kitchen. They said all that stuff they need. I was That's like, so That's nice. crazy. <laughs> you like it? Hey, don't run around. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. It's so cool. You like it? Isn't it awesome? Ow. We got a cute little window above the door. Where? Right here, above the door. 
Oh, we gotta bring the beds in now, okay? Well, you gotta put your jacket on. Are you coming? Yes. Put your jacket on. Yes. <laughs> then I'm inside out. Here. I'm gonna take pictures and send it to my mom real quick. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, one hundred. I can't count. I can't count that far. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Mm, I can't count that far. You do thirty-one. Thirty-two. No. Thirty-three. No. What about one hundred? Well, you think I could count to one hundred? Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't. That's a very long way. That is. What about one thousand? Oh, I know that's hard. Two hundred? What? Two hundred? You can't count to 200? Mama, what? You're gonna help me open the door. Mm -hmm. Open the door. In the apartment I stayed at, I had a card at the gate. I had like a corner apartment. We had our own private stairs to our apartment and it had three bedrooms, two baths, a cute little kitchen, cute little dining room. And I even had my own porch. Had lock gates, a gym, a business center, um, different sidewalks. It even had a park, a nature center. The only thing that sucked about the apartment was that it was on the second floor. So like getting groceries up the stairs and stuff kind of sucked, but. That's what I had to do. <laughs> Most of the time I would order shipped or Uber Eats or DoorDash. Got ice. Watch out. You love right there. Should we put her bed? Where should we put her bed? Um Hang on that side. Yeah. Will help you? Oh, stop, 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 stop. I'm trying to help you. I'm going to put it on the wall right now. And then we have to put it together. <laughs> but mommy has to get a tool box. So I have a screwdriver. Hey, don't do that in here. No, take it outside. Here. No, I, no I'm going to stay here. Okay, well. All right. So when you bring it in, I'm going to help you. All right. Some snow, snow on it. Mm. That's good. Mattresses. Okay. And then when 
your jacket off? No, 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 so when I first initially moved into the apartment, um, you know, it cost me a lot of money and I was paying now for an apartment and mortgage. So I had to decide ultimately what I was going to do with my future and, you know, getting this apartment, I was dead set on staying in Tennessee. You know, I got back into working out, cutting out snacks and carbs, eating healthy. And I even signed up for a gym membership at Gold's Gym. Gold's Gym also has daycare, so it really helped me out. So here I am in Tennessee, having my own apartment, single mom life, and working out, getting fit, but I was still depressed, still lonely, still had nobody to talk to, um, didn't really make friends. Um, I asked the agency if they had any deals for me and they were basically like, well, we're trying, but nobody will contact us back. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here looking at my email like, I got so many people contacting me, I'm just ignoring them. So I was like, is this all worth it? Should I have left home? I mean, am I really happier away from home or am I more depressed? And then I decided I needed to sign up for therapists. So then I started having therapy sessions weekly. And during all of this happening, I also had my old producers asking me to send them footage of my everyday life inside the apartment. Why did they ask for these clips? I don't know. They were already filming Jade at the time that they replaced me with on Teen Mom. And um, they were asking me what I was up to, if I was talking to David, if I'm still planning to stay in Tennessee, and all these other questions and I would answer them but I wouldn't get any response or feedback afterwards so I just kind of did my own thing. So he picked, he picked all his clothes in here. Yeah. I had to put like, my clothes in here. It's not even dark in here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you could, you could. My makeup! And that is my What? That's yours. Oh, my makeup. Oh, that's yours. Oh, that's yours. Oh, that's yours. Um, okay. I'm, I want to No, 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 no. No. No, we're not touching it. That's why I put it up. And not down. Well, I want to lay on it. Do you like it? You want to see mom's room? Come here, babe. I know it. I know it. This is no room. Look, this is mommy's room. That's a closet. You like it? I'm, I'm gonna take my shirt off. So That's mommy's yeah. bathtub. I'm, I'm taking yeah. my shirt off. Yeah, mommy has to have a big bathtub. I gotta go take your shirt off. All right, you guys ready to go get some lunch? Uh, no. Uh, yeah? No. And then we gotta go back to the Airbnb and we gotta pack up. You know, all our clothes and stuff. Mm -hmm. We gotta go pack up. Yay. Yay. So we have to get more stuff to bring in here. I know, we don't have anything else. We just got the bed. <laughs> That's all we had room for. But tonight when you go to Nana's, mommy is gonna pack everything and bring it. And I'm gonna get you a bed. And I'm gonna set up Ensley's, okay? Sound good? <laughs> zip, zip. Say zip, zip, ah! zip, zip. Hold on. Boop. So you're warm. Okay, you can go up there if you want. I'm gonna let the dog out. Don't follow me. Yeah. Slippery, dude. Slippery. Oh, I'm Watch this. Yes, baby. Ooh, now I know it's cold. Oh, good girl. Every time I let her out, she goes immediately. Yeah. It's amazing. And she holds it. Yes. And she doesn't pee on the bed. That's amazing. She hasn't had an accident so far. Isn't your head cold? Yeah, probably. It is. It's freezing. Do you do it? Do you need me to do it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. Hey. Come on, 
She fits right in with them because she's like just a tall horse. Please. She acts yeah. just like they do. Second! Hey guys! Kaiser, don't go hey, no. Come here, Kaiser, come here. Alright, let's go back in the car. No. It's, no, it's time to go. We're gonna go get more stuff at the other house. No. Okay. Yes. Oh, come know. here, Ensley. We're gonna get something to eat for lunch. Kaiser, I'm gonna have you sit in the back now, okay? I'm gonna put your seat back there. therapy really really helped me I started once a week um, first I did in-person sessions then I ended up doing it on call because I had the kids with me so much it was so hard for me to just take them with me to her office and their appointment so I ended up doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions and we talked about how I felt and it really helped me at the time because like I said, I didn't have any friends to talk to. I wasn't really comfortable talking to my mom about my problems. So I felt like instead of just talking to a random person, why not talk to a therapist? Because they can help you weigh your options and help you by the way you're feeling. And I'm a t the type of person that makes very impulsive decisions and acts very quickly on them without thinking about it first. I appreciate all her help and therapy is nothing to be embarrassed about. And if you ever think that you don't have a support system, you're all by yourself and you don't know what to do and you're just going back and forth in your head how to handle life, it's really, really helpful to reach out to a therapist. Like I said in the past episodes, Kaiser had a really hard time with school in North Carolina. He was in his first school, got kicked out, second school, basically kicked out, wouldn't behave. And then when we got in Tennessee, he started school again. Luckily, he got to be picked up on the bus and brought to school and I just had to bring him to the gate of the apartment complex, but he was bad on the bus. And when he got to school, he was bad in school and things weren't going that good. And they would call me like every other day to come pick him up. And I mean, I don't mean to throw Nathan under the bus, but I contacted Nathan like four or five times asking him if he can help me control Kaiser and control his anger and Nathan's like I'm in Florida I don't know what to do and I'm just like well here's the principal's email can you please respond to her and he never responded to her so things were very difficult for me I was trying to co-parent but wasn't working out that well and Kaiser came home for like the holiday breaks from school I had to really drill letters into his head, numbers into his head, take out flip cards. I was doing this all by myself. Meanwhile, trying to teach him and get him under control, I have Ensley running around going crazy, yelling, screaming, and there's people below us in the apartment complex. And they kept stomping their feet every two seconds and running around. And they came knocking on my door like three times, asking them to be quiet. And I'm just like, I don't know how to control this right now. And it was super, super hard for me. Oh my God. I'm just, I'm happy. I'm not, I'm happy they, the neighbors don't have to hear that anymore. Sorry about that. That's the end of episode eight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And next week will be episode nine of Addicted to Growth. Bye you guys.